Hello, this is Felix with Apple Nissan of Richmond. I have the 2023 Nissan Leaf behind me. So let's see how it looks and let's see how it drives around the town. So let's start with the look. Uh, this is the redesigned 2023 Nissan Leaf. So we have the LED uh, daytime morning lights here. And then of course, the one thing that really catches my eye is the glowing Nissan emblem. This is the brand new design uh, Nissan emblem and there's a glowing ring around it. And then of course we have 360 parking camera. And then uh, what's cool about this is that uh, we see a little pattern here inside the black trim here. And then we use the same pattern in the Nissan Aria as well. What's also new to the 2023 model is the rims. So come closer, take a look at the black rims here. So um, we have the, the boomerang shape design here with the silver accent on the outside. So which makes the car looks like uh, the rims is glowing when you're driving. And compared to other competitors on the market, um, which uh, sometimes uses a more aerodynamic design for fuel efficiency, um, this looks more like a regular rims, but with a cool design as well. Moving to the side, we have the black mirror caps here with the camera underneath this particular model for the 360 parking camera. And of course, on the side, we have the um, keyless entry button for opening or locking the door. And then moving on to the back, um, I really like this, uh, this black pieces here for the C pillar. It goes really well with the roof spoiler here, even though it's a more like an efficiency economic car, but I really give the car more sporty looking. And then moving to the back, we have um, the glow, the new Nissan logo here. And then this particular model is the SV Plus, which we're gonna talk about uh, the range and the battery later on. Remember when we talk about the boomerang design on the rims? The same design also goes with the tail lights here. So we see the boomerang shape here, and then this piece actually extends all the way to the C pillar here. So it goes really well with the overall design. So jumping on in the interior, I really like how Nissan designed the interior with a nice blend of technology and practicality. So uh, I really like how Nissan keep all the physical button, makes everything very easy to use and very easy to reach as well. So I don't have to, I don't have to keep my eyes off the road when I was driving. I can easily reach everything, um, even the AC control and the infotainment system here. So we have a partly a digital display over here so I can access all my range, my battery information, uh, as well as my safety system here. And then we also have the analog uh, speedometer here so that I don't have to dig through the digital screen to look for my speed. And then we have the infotainment system here and the center. Uh, I really like how they keep the physical button here so I can get to some uh, uh, manuals here very quickly. Now we have the 360 camera when we are parking or moving slow speed, we can turn it on as well as uh, uh, build-in navigation here. So I can just press the button here and have access to that. And then if you don't want to use the built-in navigation, this car also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can use that for navigation and play your own music. So moving down here, of course, we have the e-pedal button, well, which we're going to talk about when we are driving. And then uh, we have the shifter here, very easy to use. We even have a diagram here showing you how to use the shifter. My first impression is about the steering. Um, it's light, but it doesn't feel disconnected to the road. You actually get uh, some feeling of like what you're driving on. And then it's very precise as well. And then of course being in an electric car, which means you have no engine in the front. So the cabin is actually really quiet. And then you don't hear a lot of wind noise and tire noise. So which is a good thing. And the suspension is really, actually really well tuned as well. Um, as most of the competitors, we have the battery at the bottom of the car. So sometimes the suspension is a little bit too harsh to support the battery. However, the Nissan Leaf is a very clever design. So whenever going over a bump, um, any potholes, the car doesn't shake that much. So it's a really good thing. And then uh, with the hatchback body style, which means the car actually uh, not that tall. So the body was very well controlled. You don't feel a lot of body rolling when you're turning. So the Nissan Leaf comes in standard with a lot of safety features. For example, the front emergency braking, which actually saves you 10% ICBC discount. And then I have all the other warnings to help me uh, keep me safe from driving as well. For example, I have the blind spot monitoring here, as well as the lane keeping assist. Make sure I don't drive my lane. 
to keep me safe. And then of course you have the standard parking sensor at the back as well. Um, this particular model also comes with the 360 parking camera. So when you're parking in a tight spot, you have the uh, camera to assist you. So one of my favorite features about the Nissan Leaf is actually the e-pedal. So right now I have the e-pedal off. So what it means is that when I let go of the gas pedal, the car will just roll like a normal gasoline car. And when I turn the e-pedal on like this with one flick of a button, even when I'm driving. So right now when I'm let go of the gas pedal, the car slowly slow down itself to regen the battery to help with the range. So this is really good because you have the option to turn it on or turn it off when you're driving. So I know some people really doesn't like how uh, electrical drives when they're slow down. Um, they just don't feel that natural at all. So most cars on the market right now, they don't give you the option to turn it on or turn it off. However, the, uh, the Nissan Leaf does have the options to turn it on or turn it off. So this particular model that we're driving right now is the SV Plus, which will have a slightly bigger battery with around 340 kilometers of range for a single charge. So compared to other competitors on the market, which usually only goes around 80% of the range that the manufacturer claim, this Nissan Leaf actually can go around 340 kilometers, which is very nice. You don't have to worry about your range. You don't have range anxiety at all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And comment below, let us know what car you want to see next. I'll see you next time.